So a big component of what we're doing is on this DVD, we're going to be looking at the open guard and uh, using our butterfly hooks. So to help train your hooks, you have to think about how you're going to carry weight and how you're going to manipulate weight using your feet. One of the things that I'm going to do is we're going to do a butterfly lift. And this is a good entry for learning how to do any sort of butterfly sweep, any sort of open seated guard movements. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm seated on my butt. And Stefan's going to go ahead and sit right in front of me. So the important thing here to keep in mind is that you want to make sure that your feet aren't relaxed. Your toes should be active, okay? So you're always pulling your toes towards your shin. You don't want to have them relaxed or worse yet, ballerina toes. So when I look at my partner here, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I have a slight angle. I'm going to scoot in and I'm going to insert my hooks on the inseam, okay? I'm not going too far up towards the center, okay, of, of Stefan's pelvis because if I do that, I center all of my power in the middle of his body. I want to think about spreading the power out with my legs, okay? So from here, my knees, I don't want them in. I don't want them too far out. I want to have them at a nice, like, 45 degree angle to the floor. Whenever we're performing any sort of butterfly movement, it's important that our head is not above our partner's head, okay? So if Stefan bends himself down, this is bad for me. I need to think about being able to bring the crown of my head underneath him. As a result of that, in the gi, we're gonna wrap around, grab your partner's gi or the back of their belt. If it's no gi, you can either go double under hooks or wrap your arms and, and do a grip behind the back. And from here, the idea is I'm gonna scoop my butt in so I get underneath Stefan's hips. As I get underneath Stefan's hips, I'm gonna kick my legs up and bring him back down. It's a very controlled movement, but it's a little bit explosive at the same time. So from here, I'm gonna scoot in, lift up, come back up. I just wanna clarify there, I'm not helping her at all. That's all her. So. How much of that momentum comes from your popping your hips in? Like if, we, if you start with your hips in tight, that'd be much harder, right? Yeah, it's really difficult. If you start with your hips too far out and you just think that you're going to pull your partner on top, it's not going to work. Stefan's base is really already over his feet. He's not moving. So the way I need to unbalance my partner is by using this timing and this momentum to scoop my butt underneath his hips. This is what's starting to bring him forward, right? Again, if I start too close, I trap my legs and I have no spring here. So you need to think about measuring that distance. So this drill is really good for learning how to set up a proper butterfly sweep because a lot of times when we're learning a butterfly, we don't think about how far our legs have to be from our partner. I know I had a lot of trouble learning it because I often started a bit too far back or too close. So use this drill to help gauge that distance.